But I think that 10 years from now, if we've done the wrong thing, if we haven't changed, then this country is going to be a complete you know, economic wasteland. Hi, I'm Matt Welch, Editor-in-Chief of Reason Magazine, and I am delighted to be here today with Peter Schiff, the man who predicted more than any other single commentator the uh, current financial crisis. Uh, he's also the president of Euro-Pacific Capital. He is possibly the next uh, senator from the great state of uh, Connecticut. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Tell us a bit about uh, this potential Chris Dodd challenge. Well, first I have to challenge the other Republicans running for the nomination. So if I can There's beat that. them, then I get to run against Chris Dodd. But what I've done so far is I've done some polling, I've hired some consultants, I've set up a website now on behalf of my exploratory committee, which is shiftforsenate.com. And I am you know, asking people to make donations. And hopefully uh, sometime within the next few weeks, I might decide to officially announce. And one of the factors that is going to strongly influence that decision is the number of people who donate and how much they donate. <laughs> because this is going to be an expensive race. I'm going to need a lot of money. I'll spend some of my own money, but I'm going to need a lot of help from other people. What would a Senator Schiff want to do? What would you be your priorities? Upon well, the number government? one thing to do is stop what the government is doing now. I mean, we're in a gigantic hole. The last thing we want to do is keep digging it deeper. So you're there in September of 2008, mm -hmm. and you're Treasury Secretary, and everyone comes in and says, AIG is blowing up. Uh, the, we're going to have the next Great Depression is happening right now. You got to do something. What do you do in that moment? Well, you know, I understand the problem, and so I let AIG, AIG go bankrupt, and I probably fire uh, that Secretary of the <laughs> Treasury. If we had not bailed out AIG and let AIG go bankrupt, and of course let Goldman Sachs go bankrupt, and everybody else that AIG owned loaned money to, we would have had a sharper downturn than the one that we have. But you know what? We would already be uh, solving the problem because we'd be confronting it and dealing with it. All we're doing now is postponing it and making it worse. So there is no recovery anywhere in sight. Ten years, what's the dollar going to look like? Um, well, I mean, it's not going to be the reserve currency, uh, you know, that's for sure. Uh, and, so, and the dollar's not going to buy nearly as much as it does today. Um, that whether it buys nothing at all, you know, whether we go the, down the path of Zimbabwe, and I gave my, a speech today, and we were taught we, I had a hundred trillion dollar note in my hand. <laughs> uh, in order to a, avoid that fate, uh, we're going to have to make some serious changes in our policy because right now that's where we're headed. And hopefully, our cooler heads will prevail before it gets that bad. If we can implement the necessary reforms, and 10 years from now, uh, you know, we'll already be, you know, well into a recovery. But between now and then, there's going to be a substantial downshift in the American standard of living. I mean, that's the reality. Uh, because of the Fed, because of all the, the, the policies we've pursued, uh, we've lived beyond our means. We've allowed the real wealth-producing industrial part of our economy uh, to disintegrate, and we simply spent money uh, like drunken sailors, and we've run up trillion-dollar debts, and we've got nothing to show for it. And we're going to have to atone for that. We're going to need lower regulations. We're going to need less government spending so we can have lower taxes. We're going to have to have a much higher savings rate, which means people are going to have to earn money and not spend it. Uh, and so we're going to have to go through this transition. But if we do all the right things, then we will build a sound foundation and have a bright future. Finally, what's uh, uh, any sign of hope out there? Uh Little green shoots uh, sticking up. At <laughs> well, there's no green shoots now. I mean, but in uh, terms of, uh, <laughs> of possibly changing policies, changing mentalities in the direction that you would find. Well, there, there's hope, but there's not hope based on anything that's happening. Okay. It's just hope to be optimistic. But right now, there's no actual signs that you can point to as being hopeful. I mean, potentially, if I can get elected to the Senate, that would be a reason to be hopeful. If I can actually get there. And, and talk some sense in everybody. If I, if I can't, if I'm just one voice in a hundred, and, and all I can do is talk until I'm blue in the face, and, and they just continue on this path, uh, then, uh, as I said, it's going to be a real disaster. Uh, well, on that very hopeful note, uh, we will uh, end uh, for Reason TV. Thank you to Peter Schiff, and I am Matt Welch. Uh, have an excellent afternoon.